Go. Awesome. All righty. Pull up the game. Pull up the game. game. Yeah. Boom. Cool. Hello and welcome. Um, so this is um, Brother Monday's dev vlog commentary promo thing. Um, yeah, so we're going to go around and introduce us really quick. Um, I guess I'm talking, so I'll start. I'm uh, Casey Holman. I'm one of the lead programmers. The one who's playing will be Spencer Calquin, one of the other programmers. Uh, I'm Margaret Clark, the art lead. I'm Bob Vogt. I'm doing some of the writing. Uh, I'm Mary Flaherty. I'm also one of the artists. Cool, cool. And uh, this is uh, the playtest that we did for um, SGX, or the Stout Game Expo. Um, currently, we're all students of the University of Wisconsin Stout, and uh, we just showed this kind of public playtest, and this is what we're showing to you guys. Um, so, yeah, basically we have them starting off in this uh, starting area. Um, and it's not exactly where you'll start off the game, um, but we are still in development of a lot of things. Um, and this is, we're about halfway through our total development of this, and um, we're really liking where it's at right now. And that's why we felt comfortable showing it off um, at our game expo and uh, for the world to see. Yeah. Um, so what you're seeing is sort of the first gameplay that we've had on the dev blog. Um, and what you're seeing is sort of the gameplay mechanics of the Fire Spirits, which we wrote a blog post about a couple weeks back. Um, and so the Fire Spirits are kind of functioning like the keys in our levels, um, where if you have a Fire Spirit and it's lit up, it's on fire, you can use it to unlock doors. Um, but if it's extinguished or not lit, you have to take it to a fire pit first and light it before you can use it. Um, and you see the green, yep, sorry, the green rain falling down from the ceiling has the power to extinguish these Fire Spirits, so that's why you have an umbrella. You sure it's not green? Yeah, you can't <laughs> well, talk. Well, that's one of the reasons you have an umbrella. Coming yeah. up in the next room is another one of the uses of Fella's umbrella. Well, in addition to floating down. Yeah. Yes. Yep. You can see there. It's a very useful umbrella. Yes. <laughs> so this is a launch ring. When your umbrella is closed, it doesn't really have any apparent function. If you jump into it, it doesn't do anything special, but once you open your umbrella, you can jump into the launch ring, and as the name suggests, it will launch you higher into the sky, which will allow you to glide across these longer distances. So the first few rooms that you saw are more tutorial rooms, really teaching you the game mechanics. Um, in this room, which is a lot of people's favorite room, um, we spent a lot of time on this one, it's the first kind of culmination of all of our puzzle mechanics together. Um, and it looks really nice, which I really like. Um, but yeah, this is where it, we no longer spoon feed the player. Or really, they, they have to solve a puzzle for themselves. Um, this is really the first instance where we, they have to really think on their own and take the ideas that we've given them and translate it into a work sol problem solving. Also, we introduced the uh, mechanic of uh, movable launch rings. Um, before you saw a launch ring to know what they do, um, but these white bulbs, um, they when you tap them, they move. Um, and that's kind of the key to this puzzle, of figuring out how to utilize that best for this puzzle. Do you want to talk about the inspiration behind why this room looks like the way it does? Um, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the idea behind this room is we want it to be sort of this circular, huge, expansive library. So the things you're hopping over are going to be giant bookshelves. Um, and sort of the idea behind the verticality is that you would be able to use the launch ring to sort of jump up and grab books that you want from higher shelving units. Um, but sort of the architectural inspiration is actually St. Basil's Cathedral in Moscow. Um, a lot of the verticality structure sort of was taken from one of the rooms in there. But it's going to look very different, ultimately. Um, textures are coming soon. Yes. Yeah. A lot of our sort of level design has been um, based a lot on curving forms and sort of mm -hmm. uh, circular patterns. And that's very intentional. Um, earlier in our on our developer blog, we um, Bob actually wrote a post about the fire spirit language and um, its influence on our um, our level design for the game so far. Yeah, in short, um, that's why everything is curvy. <laughs> <laughs> well said. <laughs> yeah, but we want the architecture to feel certainly architectural, but also kind of organic and sort of mystical and atypical for sure. 
If I didn't have the umbrella up right now, what you notice is that in these areas of green rain, the fire spirits would be put out. And that's why one of the reasons why Fella has the umbrella as well is we're trying to make sure that the umbrella isn't just uh, just floating and jumping, but has other uses, such as you have to use it to hit the tap orb, and you have to also protect these fire spirits as you transport them to their homes and sconces. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, pause right before you put any of the fire spirits in the sconce. I just want to show off the animation, because um, it's one of my favorite animations. Uh, yeah, keep it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bad don't, don't make the same mistake I do. So just, like, um, hit X, and then... Yeah, so you can kind of see this animation of like activating the sconce, and um, that was snuck in about a week ago, um, and it's just it's one of my favorite animations just because it looks so mystical. Yeah, it's subtle, but it adds a lot. Yeah. And that animation of the door opening into our final quote unquote final level, our final space where um, there'll be a story element in the future. Um, I loved that Spencer programmed the camera to like move to a fixed position. And just open, have the doors open in like a grandiose way. And I just, every time I see it, it just looks so like, yes. It's been some a lot of work into that. <laughs> yeah. But. And then this is our um, kind of end of our play test. Um, and this is where our players naturally kind of found the end of their play test. Um, and this is a kind of a really unique experience, and I'll let Bob explain why it's such a unique experience. Yeah, well, it's unique because uh, this is the only fire spirit you would ever find in a town uh, <laughs> in the game, which won't actually probably be in the actual game. Um, and he also speaks English, which is pretty unique, because um, they don't teach that in a lot of fire spirit schools. <laughs> so that's what we wanted to show off. We wanted to show off our playtest and what we did to SGX, but expand it out to our blog. So if you weren't there, you're able to see what we've been able to do. We're really excited for the next semester. We have a lot more work to go. We're still planning out uh, some of the stuff we want to show you in what order. But we are very proud of the playtest. We thank everyone for the feedback, and thanks for coming, everybody. Yeah, thanks. And if you haven't checked us out, check us out on UmbrellaMondays.com. You can find out all the information you'll ever need to know about Umbrella Mondays. And Facebook and Twitter. Twitter. Yeah, and Facebook and Twitter. So, well, hope to see you again. That was perfect.